We started doing veneers as a profession in circa 1983. The biggest study that I'm aware of was a retrospective study done around about 2003, so 20 years later. The stats show that approximately 80% of all veneers were still in people's heads, which was kind of interesting because the first generation of adhesives were actually kind of weak. Second generations were, were pretty good. Now we're like seventh generation adhesives. And the porcelains have gotten just infinitely better than they were then. So yeah, it's it a really up, natural smile. Yeah, it breaks up the light. Yeah. And the sizal edge is a little bit translucent, a little bit blue. Mm. It's a non-organic material. In other words, one form decay. You treat them like you would your natural teeth. If you brush it and you floss it, it's just not going to break down. What breaks it down is what do you do with it? Do you bite into a fork? Do you grind your teeth? You know, these are the things that will, will break it. Although the, the, the porcelain itself is 200, sometimes 250, 300% stronger than what mom and dad gave you. So in some ways, you're actually armor plating your teeth and reducing the surface of the tooth and actually can form decay.